Hey guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I want to share with you guys a very cool launcher for Android devices that makes your phone look like Windows 10 computer. This is called the Computer Launcher for Android devices, of course, and I've been using it for the last couple weeks, but just the last couple days, it has been getting a lot better. Um, and I'm going to show you guys here how it actually works. If you ever installed a launcher to your phone, it's basically the same process. You just download it from your PSN store, not the PSN store, from the Play Store. And once it downloads, you just go ahead and you know set it up as your default launcher. And basically, that's it. So let's go and show you guys how this works. Uh, first of all, here you got your applications. And like you see there, you got some computer applications like user, this PC, recycle bin. Plus, you got some extra applications for yourself, right? Uh, you could tap and hold on one of them, and now you can reveal all the everywhere where you could put applications uh, you cannot put applications down here uh, but right here if I want to delete one of them I could just go ahead and click there and I'll just delete one of them uh, now I didn't delete it did it okay let's go and close studio right here I could go ahead and remove uninstall or let's go ahead and put remove so now I go ahead and remove one if I want to add an application all I do is tap right here and what's cool here of course is the fact that you can actually see the the tiles which is pretty damn cool you can tap on any of those and it's going to open its corresponding application so if i want to add like a new um like a new application there you just tap and hold and create shortcut and that's it like you see there now the i have a new application there and you could keep on adding a lot more applications if you want on um, these computer files or folders they actually do work like folder like um uh, file managers so here you got your documents your downloads if i click there you can see all your downloads that you have downloaded using android you click back again you have all these like create new folder uh cut copy paste and all that here you got compress decompress shortcut uh, share on network unshare network you, you go ahead here network ftp ftp this pc you can see the videos coming from all the folders from from facebook camera media restore screenshot video editor click right there you can see what i did on video editor it's pretty damn cool you know it has a whole bunch of access like if it was a real computer and what it is is basically a file manager one thing to keep in mind here is that, for example, if you just hit the home button, it's going to still appear here in the bottom. Like you see there, it's still going to appear here in the bottom. So when you close it, it's still going to be visible there. Just like any task taskbar or task manager, no, I think taskbar on Windows 10, you tap right there, you open it. But all you got to do is close it right here, and now it will disappear from the task taskbar right there and basically that's it if you want to eliminate some of these applications you could just like i said you could just eliminate them like i did holding them and doing that if you tap and hold if you tap and hold the home screen you actually have this option for uh change background camera gallery wallpaper desktop icons if i press desktop icons i can actually eliminate the pc ones the ones that look like pc so if i want to eliminate the recycle bin click right there click done and now i eliminate it like see there i eliminated the recycle bin so now i could go ahead and add a new application there put instagram and basically that's it so here in the bottom of course like i said i show you that this is where you see the start menu with the tiles over here you can see the it can launch your uh, messaging app but right now i'm not using that application here you can see your dialer and it works perfectly good here it will launch of course your your browser which right now it's um it's a chrome browser and here if i tap right there you have access to the you know the connections you got the wi-fi the 4g all these data you got the battery you got the audio you see that you do this and it will show you guys the, the volume right there and you click right here in battery it will show you guys the battery usage which is cool click right there again it takes it out here you got the notification panel like you see they're really cool filled of all types of notifications if i tap right there it'll just take me to one of them and you see that it's cool that i actually have access to all the notifications there 
and if you want to clear them up all of them you click right there or just clean them all and right here it also has just like windows 10 you got the airplane mode you got the wi-fi you got the bluetooth you got the flashlight which actually works as well uh here you got the brightness you could change the brightness right there data rotate by default it's selected rotate i don't like to rotate it because the icons look kind of weird when you rotate the phone uh you got kill task which what it does is actually clear some ram in the background and you got location which is the gps basically that's it so like you see here um, it does feel like windows 10 which is the cool thing about this and that's why i'm actually liking it and also keep in mind you also have access to widgets right here but this right here you actually have to activate it to activate that you gotta tap right there um here is your settings right there here's your settings it says launcher settings there you go launcher settings you got system settings which is your normal settings for your phone uh you got notification settings you tap it there you you could access uh, allow access to a lot of these notification applications uh, background if you want to change the background you could just click right there and look at all the backgrounds available these are the ones available from uh, from the launcher itself which is basically like windows 10 app um, backgrounds if i'm not mistaken here you got hidden apps so if you want to hit an app you all you got to do is set a pin pin code then you can select the app and hit it uh lock screen you actually have an option for lock screen but i don't really like the way it looks it's very simple plus if you're using retina to unlock and um, fingerprint it's not even worth to use it but you can actually try it out if you want um he got widgets this by default is going to be off so make sure you turn it on if you want to have the widget panel because it won't be there it won't be there once you install it and finish it it won't be there uh here you got theme icons so it what it does is it lets you add, uh, apply different kind of themes it changes the way the icons look and it changes the way the background looks as well and here you got colors which this is one of the last feature that was added uh, because this is in beta uh, this is going to be a lot of bugs available still but now if you tap right there look at that now it changes the way the taskbar looks it changes the way the start menu looks which is pretty damn cool click right there again let's go back uh let's go to colors oh yeah look at that <laughs> so you see there has a lot of options of colors there and if you want to return to your default colors or you just click right there and it go back to default but it, it has a whole bunch of different colors of course here you have access to all the all the applications you have installed in your game um, on your phone here of course are our applications that you can actually these are set by default but you can actually swap them for another application that you want there at a glance um, here you got the PSN uh, I keep saying the PSN <laughs> you got the Play Store there the camera right there you see there but i don't need that because i use the button to launch it but you get the idea right go ahead and change app right there and go and choose calculator or anything like that so let's go ahead and pull like a, a calendar there instead and there you go it adds the calendar right there so that's how you customize the applications here and it works pretty damn good um also another thing if you want to go full windows 10 you can actually replace um google assistant for cortana like i did for example now if i press here instead of having google popping up now i have cortana popping up which is not bad cortana is great uh like you see there's it's, it's listening to everything that i say cancel let's go and ask some questions here uh, where can I go for some pizza today? I found five places matching pizza near you. There you go. There's Artabino's Pizza at 111. <laughs> so you see that I could do that. Um, tell me a joke. Don't trust the atoms. They make up everything. <laughs> How far is California from here? about 1064 miles to california so like you see there, there um it's pretty cool you know if you want to go for cortana windows 10 you could do that to so replace google for cortana all you got to do is slide over here go over here go settings 
go to dun, 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 advanced features and all right here in advanced features you're gonna have the options for device assistant app click right there and right here it says device assistant app click right there and there is where you can replace Google for Cortana so once you select Cortana um, automatically every time you press and hold the home button you will actually activate Cortana instead of Google which is pretty cool if you want to go ahead full Windows 10 with this launcher uh, this launcher is free to try let's go and change the wallpaper here I could choose from the gallery if I want I could choose my wallpapers here that I've downloaded click right there and there you go look at that awesome so uh, one thing to keep in mind if you want to download this launcher is totally free but I believe it's still in beta I think it is or early access you know some um, some developer releases applications with early access and I think that's the status on the Play Store but it's you can you can download it on any device if I'm not mistaken and try it out you know it's free so you're not losing anything and it actually looks cool uh, it's been working a lot better now than before and here if you want to turn it off close the launcher click right there and it'll go just back to the default launcher or tell you hey you want to choose another launcher you can choose uh, the EV launcher which is the one that I'm using the most or touch quiz uh, but right now let's go back here because we're doing a video for that so it's gonna set it up as default and basically that's it that's how you actually if you want to close this and start using your preferred launcher you could actually do it like that pressing right there and close which is the power button and select to close the launcher that's it so guys that's it for this video just wanted to share this video with you guys so you can try it out if you want um, it's really cool you know it makes your phone a phone look like Windows 10 computer and it does a good job doing it so thanks for watching the video guys till next time